In other news, when we think about infrastructure improvements, oftentimes we think of roads, bridges, and housing. But something extremely important for communities is how wastewater is treated. And some parts of the state have not seen major investments in it in decades. But as New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse shows us, dozens of communities will soon address serious needs. The Rough of Mexico sewage district hasn't had any major upgrade since its inception in 1976. And Superintendent Roy Arsenault says the infrastructure is showing its age. You can't buy parts for, you know, 40 year old equipment anymore, so a great deal of work needs to be done, obviously. And soon it will be. Just a few miles away from this wastewater facility, Governor Janet Mills announced Monday $1 million in grant funding from the main jobs and recovery plan will go to the Rumford, Mexico sewage district for improvements. There's a lot of cost in just renovating the building itself. However, the operation equipment also is in dire need of a lot of work. Governor Mills making the announcement almost 50 years after the adoption of the Clean Water Act, which was introduced by then Maine Senator Ed Muskie. Cleaning the water that we use in our homes and our businesses before it's sent back into the environment could not be more important, but it is costly. In total, $22 million will go towards improvements at 20 different wastewater treatment facilities across the state. One improvement in the Rumford, Mexico area is improving equipment and infrastructure so it can handle a growing community. And over this last 10 year census period, we've actually seen growth and we've seen a lot of growth in you know uh, businesses. So we're on the upswing and we're gonna keep that, that uh, train going in that direction. And We'll be able to handle expanded growth in the communities you know, for a long time coming forward. In Rumford, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. According to the governor's office, these infrastructure projects will happen over the next four years.